Hi, my name is Tiffany Lockman with Remax Properties. Thank you for stopping by my video blog today. Um, today we're going to give you a market update of what's happened through the summer and into August. Um, but first, a couple things to take note of on my screen. Just below my face here, you'll see a link to get a free home evaluation for your home. So if you're interested in what your home may be selling for, please feel free to click on that. Also, if you're looking for homes to buy, there's also a link here so that you can search all available homes for sale in Colorado Springs and the outer lying areas. So back to the topic at hand, which is what's happening in the market. Um, we had a great year so far, um, awesome summer. Through July, we um, sales are up about 14%. Uh, the average sale price is up 3.1%, putting us at 275 for the average sale price. Um, unsold homes are down 19%, which basically means homes that are sitting on the market that haven't sold our inventory is down 19%. Um, months of supply, we're at two and a half months right now. What that means is, um, to sell everything based on the sales we've had so far in the last six months, it'll take us two and a half months to sell everything that's on the market. To put that in perspective, an even market and even buyer-seller market, we usually are at six, six months on market. So we are low for inventory and it isn't taking as long to sell homes as it has in the past. So pending sales right now are up through July 21.8%. Uh, through the end of July, we had 2,127 homes currently under contract in our MLS. I just checked so far right now as we stand in August, we have 2,309 um, properties pending. So when somebody says it's August, it's the end of the summer season, probably not a good time to sell. I would emphatically disagree with that. I think August so far has been hot. We're not seeing a drop in our lead volume. We're not seeing a drop in the homes that we're listing. They're still selling relatively quickly. Um, most of the time in the first week, um, if not in the first week, we are typically seeing inside that 60 days. Different price points, different neighborhoods. Obviously, real estate is very neighborhood specific. Sometimes that can fluctuate a little bit, but we can give you a pretty good idea of exactly what you should be expecting. Um, interest rates are still low, which is also creating a really strong environment. Um, we did see some topsy turviness in the, in the stock market yesterday. We were all sort of waiting to see what was going to happen with interest rates today. They did still stay. They jumped up a tiny bit, but they're still low. They're still the lowest they've been all year. So it's an awesome time if you're thinking about buying or selling because your buying power of the, the buyers for your home is also really strong. So um, for fall, my expectation is more of the same. I think we have... Um, seen a little bit of lightning in our inventory, which actually is probably good. We had such a tight inventory situation in the spring that it was really just kind of hard on the buyers. And we did see some buyers sort of kind of give up, which I think is what they're they're coming back now. Now that it's getting easier to get in, a little easier to get into homes, they're, they're back to looking again. So strong market. I anticipate seeing really good numbers coming out for the end of August. I'll give you another update in a couple weeks. But um, if you're thinking about waiting and selling in the spring, you want to make some improvements to your house, call us sooner than later. We can help you spend money in the right areas and not spend money in the wrong areas. Improve value for the biggest bang for your buck. We're happy to help with that. Um, I love getting in touch with people sooner rather than later because I can help you a lot through the process. We also have a lot of resources that can help you save money. So Reach out. We'd love to hear ideas for different blogs, different topics you'd like to see. Um, if you have any questions, please give me a call. Happy to talk. Thanks.